Welcome to part 14 of the Tenable Threat and Vulnerability Management series that I'm doing here on YouTube. So today we're going to follow up on the vulnerabilities that I remediated yesterday, which were related to Microsoft Office 2003. If you didn't get the chance to check out the video, I strongly suggest that you watch that one after this one. But anyway, you're here already. So let's go ahead and let's look at Tenable in just a second. But I do want to thank uh, Cybertrader AI for providing us with access to this Tenable tenant. So they make this possible. So go to cybertrader.ai, sign up for a free trial. Check it out. You get a free external vulnerability scan and many, many other features there. So thanks again, Cybertrader, for providing access to this tenable tenant. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and zoom in. So we're going to go through some of these vulnerabilities. So we've got 15 vulnerabilities left on this device. And so for those 15 vulnerabilities, we're going to focus on another one. Now, we've done Google Chrome before, but here we go. We got another one here. This is, if you look at it, it's a 9.8. We also got this as a 10 on the CV, CVE. None of these are, let's see, these are not the highest. Technically, this one has got the highest VPR score, which is gonna be Tenable's rating. But if we look at it, Google Chrome, this is gonna be one that's just recent, re recently released. Let's look at the details of the vulnerability. So this one is related to, well, uh, basically they want us to update to version um, 123.0.631. You can see right here at the bottom, okay? So it's affected by multiple vulnerabilities as referenced in it. So you can go ahead and see that. But for this one, this is pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Sentinel-1, which I've already got the remote shell pulled up. And so remember, I'm actually transitioning now to getting everybody to start thinking. I'm, if I'm going to be learning threat and vulnerability remediation, I need to be doing this remotely, okay? Because we're not going to have access to the machine always. So therefore, you need to make sure that you are ready to do this using PowerShell or Shell Script, okay? So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to look at the vulnerability and we're going to look at the plugin output. So I know this is C code and program files, Chrome application is my folder. I'm going to copy that, I'm going to take a shortcut here and I'm going to change to this directory, put a double quote there and then I'm going to right click and paste this here and then I'm going to close this. All right, so that'll take me to the folder. I'm going to do a DIR command to get the directory. And so interesting. So if we look at this now, do I have two versions of Chrome? 327 at 224 p.m. Interesting. Okay. So on this machine, and this is not, well, this is not mine. This is the machine I'm working on. So that's very likely indicates that they have two versions of Chrome installed on the machine. So let's see if there's a version of Chrome running. So we're going to do a get tech uh, process. Uh, tech name. Well, actually, we should just be able to say Chrome. Let's see. Okay. So nope, we got to put the tech name parameter there. So let's do tech name. Chrome. Okay. So can I find? Can I find that Chrome is running? Okay. So a couple things we want to do. Let's do a directory again. And essentially, what I'm looking for right here is I want to get the version of this Chrome.exe. So I want to do a get, let's move this up. Well, you can see it right here. Just kind of watch this section here. Actually, I do want to move that up so you can see better. Okay. So we're going to run a get tag item. And we're going to put this in. Well, we're going to put this all in parentheses. So get tag item Chrome or actually, yeah, I think we can just do Chrome.exe. We'll tab it out and put the dot backslash in front of it. All right, we'll close that and then we'll type dot version info, version info. Okay, so that tells us it's 12306312.86. Let's look at Tenable. Okay, so what this is basically telling me is that the Chrome executable is actually on the fixed version. So fixed version is 12306312.86. And it shows here, 1230. 6312.86. So that is how you can go in and check the Chrome, like using a terminal or command line, check the version of Chrome that's currently installed on the machine. So basically, for this one, we're just waiting for it to get an updated vulnerability scan. And once it does, then I should remediate the vulnerability. I am interested in knowing why this folder exists. So I'm going to take a peek here. So CD 122. Let's do a directory there. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, interesting. All right, and let's look in this one, two, three folder. Actually, I went to the wrong one. Okay. And so you can see there are files in here. 
let's look at executables files in this folder the chrome launcher chrome evaluation okay so cool all right that makes me feel better so basically that indicates that there is not that we're actually on the correct version of chrome by looking at this version information right here one thing i also want to look at is i'm going to modify this a little bit and that chrome proxy.exe just looking at the executable i want to know so chrome underscore proxy proxy.exe and I want to know what that version is. And so it also shows 12306312.86. So that confirms to me that this, re this remediation or that Chrome has been updated on this machine and we just need another vulnerability scan. And so that's another one down for the books. So we'll move on to the next vulnerability in the next video. So if you made it to the end of this video, then I want you to type 123.0.6312.86 in chat that lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And that's the actual version of Chrome that we were supposed to upgrade according to Tenable. Thanks for watching.